What's up everybody, it's Matthew from Team Pancakes, and today uh, we're doing a depth profile on Metagross Dustmane Necrozma. So as you guys know, Steel types have been getting a lot of support as of recently, and um, a lot of different type of Dustmane Necrozma decks are being built. But who better to uh, take part in the metal uh, fun that's going on in the meta right now for Mr. Metagross, which is this guy right here. So as most of you know, Metagross has this ability called Geotech System. Once per turn, you may attach a Psychic or Metal Energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. So the basis of the deck is we want to get a bunch of Metagrosses set up, and then we can cycle through Metagrosses with that Giga Hammer attack for 150. And it's not able to attack on the next turn, but you can usually just retreat for three into another Metagross and just continue to Giga Hammer with that Geotech system. And it has Algorithm GX for a colorless energy. Search your deck for five cards and put them into your hand. So definitely um, a good GX attack. It is susceptible to N as a supporter, but as people continue to play less and less counts of N, Algorithm GX does become a better option for looking for those cards to help set up your uh, Metagrosses and to help set up your board as quickly as possible. So Metagross is going to be the main engine of the deck to get our energies um, onto our Dustmane Necrozmas that are going to be able to uh, take one-hit knockouts. But Metagross is also a really good attacker, and, uh, and he also has 250 hit points, which is huge in this meta as uh, stuff can hit for... Um, there's a lot of Pokemon that can hit for one hit knockouts, but hitting for 250 is really hard to do unless you're playing playing Fire type for like weakness, or if you're playing uh, something like Guard of War. But even Guard of War suffers because it is weak to Metal type. So uh, that's what we're going to be looking at. So we have Metagross there, and then y'all know what Dust Main Necrozma does. 190 hit points, Claw Slash for 60 for three colorless, Meteor Tempest for four energy, 220. Discard three energies from it, and then the Sun's Eclipse GX for 250 damage, which you can use if you're behind on price cards. So again, just an awesome card. Take one hit knockouts, and just being able to use Metagross to power him up turn after turn is super broke. So we're going to see if we can try to make that work today. Uh, we play one Solgaleo Prism Star because there are still Garboder decks out there with Garbotoxin that are going to shut off our abilities. So in order to get around that, we're going to need to get our metal energy from our discard, possibly another way. So Vileo Prism Star is the card to do it, so that's why he's in the deck, to help get energy out of our graveyard by another means. Uh, then we also play one of Mew. Mew's a really good card, because not only can it hit for Psychic Weakness against decks like Buzzwall or Lucario with that Memories of Dawn ability, but Mew can also copy the attack of the Sol Vileo Prism Star, saving it so that your opponent does not knock it out. And then make it to where you can't use it the rest of the game. So you can also help us accelerate energies from our discard pile or copy one of our attacks and possibly hit for weakness. So Mew is a great card for the deck. We run two Tapu Lele. There for mainly set up, getting our turn one Bridget, trying to get our bench, uh, you know, going as fast as we can at the beginning of the game, and just you know the best card uh, in the format mm -hmm. right now, you know, overall. So. That's going to be Tapu Lele there, so we're running two copies of her. We're running one Alolan Vulpix, which a lot of Metagross decks have built. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I have personally found Alolan Vulpix to be a really cool card that comes in clutch a lot of the times, uh, especially with that beacon attack for being able to search for up to two Pokemon and put them into our hand. It's a slower way to set up, but sometimes it's necessary, and it's only a one prize card, so you know it can help us get set up for later in the game. So that's why we run the one of the Alolan Vulpix. Uh, we run three Fail Blower. This is a very heavy ability-based deck, and in order for us to use that, we cannot have Float Stones or Choice Bands or any of that garbage on Garbatox and Garboder. So we run three Fail Blower to get rid of that junk, literally because we don't want that affecting our game state. Run 2 Heavy Ball, just because Matang, Metagross, Sogaleo, um, there's a lot of cards in here that have 3 plus retreat cost, so we want to run Heavy Balls to get those Pokemon out and into our hand. We run 3 Max Potion. Now, we are usually getting rid of our energy and getting it back from the discard, which means we can afford to get energy 
uh, to have energy put off of our Pokemon with Max Potion. Retreating a Metagross into another Pokemon means there's no energy on the Metagross. And let's say they hit it for 170. Retreat the Metagross into another Metagross. Geotech System 3 energies back onto it. Max Potion, the one on the bench. And then it's like the person just completely lost all the advantage from their attack on their previous turn. So Max Potion is a great card. Great inclusion of the deck. And we're going to be running three of that. Running four rare candies to try to get our Metagross out as quickly as possible. So four rare candy is necessary. We're running one Rescue Stretcher, uh, just so that we can try to get our Pokemon back out of the discard. I mean, it's, it does kind of like what we expect with Super Ron, but at this point, you know, with Metagross, we want to keep our basic energy in the discard pile, so therefore we are using Rescue Stretcher just to focus on our getting our Pokemon back. Four and four Ultra Ball. Two Bridget, just so that in case we prize one, we have one to go for on our turn one, uh, so we can get our bench set up. We run three Cynthia's. Cynthia, new draw supporter, really great card. We run three Guzma, being able to get our uh, Pokemon out of the active spot or bring up something that we can knock out is brilliant. So Guzma, of course, awesome card. Uh, we're running three copies of N, being able to disrupt our opponent's hand as they might take a couple prizes early as we're setting up. N's a perfect card, so that's why we're running three copies of N there. And then we're running two Sycamore for draw support. We're running two Choice Band because we're going to be hitting for big numbers. And usually Metagross is not a one-shot knockout Pokemon. It usually takes two, but that's, again, why we're playing the Dust Main across. But now, now we can hit for 220. Now we're going to be taking one shots, and maybe we're going up against uh, like, a, like a Solgaleo GX... Uh, Metagross uh, kind of mirror match. Now we can hit for 250 with Meteor Tempest and take those one-shot knockouts. So we have two choice band there, and then we run 10 Metal Energies, and that is pretty much the deck. So this deck was inspired by uh, Rocky Asbel, who's one of the players uh, for Team Pancakes, and uh, wanted me to show off uh, his deck a little bit. So we're going to go ahead, go over to the ladder, play a few games, and see how the deck does. Top in here, new versus ladder, got it. Okay, so we're gonna go over here, go to Rockies, play, and we're gonna try to find somebody to test our new metal metal deck. Okay, so we see metal psychic and colorless. So this is gonna be an interesting matchup. We'll have to see what we're going up against. Pokedad GX. See who we're going up against. Okay, we'll pick tails, one to flip, sweet. Yes, we shall go first. And right now, guys, uh, uh, depending on when this video comes out, the Latin American uh, Championships for Pokemon is currently going on right now, so feel free to uh, swing by on Twitch on their channel and check that out. Right now, they're in round six, and uh, it's been pretty interesting to watch. So we're going to start with Vulpix here. Turns over a Cosmog. Okay, so they're playing Solgaleo. So this is when that Choice Band is going to come into effect. We'll go yes. On the Tapu Lele, I'm going to play the Bridget. Probably going to go get three Beldums, I'd say, for right now. Just because we have those double rear candy. So let's go um, Beldum, Beldum. And probably should go ahead and get another Beldum just to be safe. Because that is going to be the main engine of our deck. So let's go ahead and get those there. I'm going to go ahead and attach energy. And then we're going to pass over to our opponent's turn. See what they can do. So right now it looks like next turn we can attach an energy to Vulpix. Double rare candy, both of our Metagross is on. Retreat, Geotech system, and then Algorithm GX. And hopefully they don't disrupt our hand, but even if they do, we'll get to draw new cards. Either way. So we have a pretty good setup in our hand right now. And if we can disrupt them before they get a bunch of 250 evolution HP Pokemon into play, that would greatly help. So we will see what happens. Okay, Cynthia, so they must have had a dead hand, so that's actually good for us. It's gonna, hopefully it'll take them a little bit longer to set up. Okay, here's another Cosmog. Running both different Cosmogs. Alright, and that's it. So now it's over to our turn. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to Rare Candy, Metagross. Get on there, boy. Rare Candy, Metagross right there. Going to Rare Candy, Metagross onto the Beldum. Boom, got the Metagross. Going to attach a Steel Energy to here. We're going to retreat to the Metagross. 
We're going to geotech system onto the Metagross. Would have been nice if we could have gotten another energy to take an early knockout, but that's okay. And then we're going to Algorithm GX for Metagross. Uh, let's go Solgaleo, Rare Candy, uh, Sycamore, and Energy. So boom. Now we're set up for next turn. And let's hope he doesn't disrupt our hand. If he does, though, that is okay with us. We will see what our opponent will do. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so, so far they did not have a very explosive turn one, so let's see what they decide to do here. Okay, Lele, Wonder Tag. Probably for Bridget, maybe, unless they want to go for the end to disrupt us. Okay, Bridget, that's fine. They're needing to set up anyway, so I definitely understand the play. Sogaleo, Cosmog, and Orangaroo. Okay, so this looks like a mainly a Sogaleo GX deck. Alright. Metal Energy to the Cosmog. And they're going to teleport into the Lele. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and Rare Candy there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attach our Steel Energy there. Put down our Dusk Mane, and then we will Sycamore. Okay, didn't get the Choice Band I wanted, but that's alright. Um, let's see. I guess we'll just go ahead and... Uh, I guess all we can do is just go ahead and Giga Hammer for 150. So that's what we'll do. Giga Hammer for 150. Force our opponent to try to evolve into something next turn. We could find a... Well, no, not a Guzma. Just trying to see how much metal energy we have. We only have one in our discard. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so we found the Solgaleo. He's going to Ultra Road and then probably Soul Burst GX, I would imagine. To get all the energy on everything. So... Oh, he's going to Guzma. Okay. That's fine. Okay, he's doing that to try to get us to not be able to put enough energy on him for our turn. I see what he's doing. Okay. So we'll probably Ultra Ball away the energy. We'll play Cynthia. And if I could find a Choice Band, that would be superb. Along with a couple more energy. Okay, nothing there, so let's just go ahead, Ultra Ball away, the Metagross, and the Energy, to find nothing, okay, um, how much, let's see, we have two Energy in the discard pile, let's go ahead and Cynthia, and see what we find, Heavy Ball, Choice Band, <sighs> okay, um, well, this isn't great, uh, because we can only geotech system on two energy, and he's going to be able to knock it out the next turn with Sunsteel Strike. So, um, what do we even do here? All right, so we'll go ahead and attach a choice band here, I guess, and then we'll uh just pass turn. Well, wow, that's really unfortunate. Our opponent made a smart play by Guzmaning out the uh Dusk main. And keeping the Metagross there with three energy on the bench. So that is unfortunate. So he's going to take two prizes here. We could heavy ball for a Solgaleo. Retreat three. And maybe get a Sun's Eclipse GX attack off. Maybe. Oh no, we've already algorithmed. Never mind. So we can't do that. So I wonder what the play is going to be here. That's going to be the big question. What is going to be the play? Still have two energy in discard. Okay. It's going to feel blower off the choice band. That's fine.
Okay, Sun Steel Strike for 230. That's going to get us, unfortunately. Then we'll put up, I guess, the Metagross and see where we can go from here. Guzma. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um. Let's see. We need to knock out that Cosmog. Or no, we need to knock out. Okay, so if we. Guzma. Do the Geotech system. Attach, attach. That's not going to knock that out. Ugh. Kind of being one energy short, not having a draw support, really kind of hurts us right now. Um, let's see. Okay, we'll heavy ball, and we'll go grab this guy. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and I guess Rich. Hmm. What do we want to do? Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and just Giga Hammer. No. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Uh, we'll go ahead and Giga Hammer. I, I guess there's nothing else we can really do right now. I really don't want to lose our Necrozma, although he can probably just evolve that Cosmoem and get a second Sun Steel Strike out, and that's going to be a pain. So I'm not really sure. This is another version of Solgaleo that's really difficult to deal with. So we'll see what our opponent does. He's probably going to get a Solgaleo here, I would imagine. I don't see how he doesn't find it this turn. Or a Max Potion or something like that. So we'll just wait and see what he does. Can't imagine he'd whiff on that with a sycamore. He'd probably have to find something. I just have to see what he's gonna alter. Yeah, there's the heavy ball. Okay, I don't know why he's slow playing. If he has it, he just needs to play it. <clears throat> so he's gonna evolve, he's gonna ultra road, he's gonna knock out our Metagross, and then we're gonna be pretty much behind the rest of the game. So I don't think we're gonna win this at all. There's Max Potion, that's fine. Yeah, I, I think this is pretty much unwinnable. He just got all of his energy on that one turn. It was really hard for us to to come back. Really, the play of the game was that Guzma. Not too many people know to Guzma there to get the Metagross stuck with all the energy still on the back end of that, and that's pretty much what, what made the game right there was that Guzma a few turns ago. So he's going to knock out our Metagross. Um... I don't know if we're going to be able to Guzma to really get anything stuck or not really having a draw supporter hurts too. So um, our last Metagross is in our discard pile, so we have the rare candy here, but unless we find the stretcher to get it back out, um, I don't know. Okay, so he's probably just going to thin his deck here so he can instruct. Oh no, he's going to go evolve into a Cosmo. I'm okay. That's fine. Now, if we could somehow knock out his Solgaleo Prism Star, that would probably hurt him and maybe set him back a little bit. So, the only thing is, I don't know how we knock that out next turn. I don't think we have the ability to. Okay, so he's just going to go ahead and get... Okay. He's going to go ahead and use this turn to do that. Radiant Star. How many do we have in this card? Still two? Yep. Okay, so he has two Sogaleos that are ready to attack, so I'm pretty sure we lose here. Um, but we'll go ahead and play it out. Now, though, there's a Guzma that does not help. Um, well, what I guess we'll do is we'll retreat into this guy. And then we'll bring up... The fact that he has two of them waiting to go is just so annoying. Alright, we'll Guzma up this guy. Okay, we'll bring up... No, because even... The, I forgot we can't use our GX attack. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So he's going to knock that out. And then after that, we're not going to have... He's going to be able to knock out whatever we bring up. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. 
it's got way too far ahead. There's no way. I'm not going to play that out. <laughs> I was going to at first, but I completely forgot. We already used our GX attack, so we couldn't Sun's Eclipse. So, all right, well, against another Sogaleo deck, if they get set up, it's very hard to take the game. So we'll see how we do here against Magister 88. We will try the deck again and see what we can do. The deck set up fairly fast. It was really good, but uh, if you're not able to cycle through the Metagross correctly, or if your opponent tries to get you stuck, it can shoot you in the back <laughs> at times. So uh, we will see how we do in Game 2. Hopefully we go a little bit better. I did see some Dark. I saw some Fairies, so we will see uh, what it is we're going to be going up against once our opponent chooses who's going first. So like I said, a lot of different steel decks being out right now. A lot of different versions of uh, Dustmane Necrozma. There's Magnezone Necrozma, Zoroark Necrozma. Alright, this hand's atrocious, but okay. We'll go ahead and start the Lele. Looks like our opponent's going to have to mulligan. Maybe. Yep, they are. Oh, Lele start. Okay. Is this Sylveon? I feel like this might be Sylveon. If so, we should have an advantage, but uh, based on the last game, I don't know how much that's actually going to help us, <laughs> so we'll see. We will see what happens. They're playing fairly slow, so okay, there's their card. Probably playing Sylveon just based on what I saw off their mulligan, but we shall see what it is we're going up against. Okay, yes, we want to draw the extra card. There's a Matang. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bridge it for probably just two Beldums and a Vulpix, although I'd like to get just Beldums, but we really need to. Um, well, let's go get two. Let's go get three Beldums. Let's put them down. We'll attach an energy to Lele. And then pass. So we have no draw supporter for next turn. This could be really bad. My right, energy evolution, gonna go get a Sylveon. Yeah, starting with Lele is not great, and then not having a backup draw supporter is really not good. Okay, Team Flare Ground, that's fine. Dumbbells. Magical Ribbon. It'd be really cool if we could top deck into an end because they're probably just going to get a bunch of nasty stuff that we don't want to have to deal with in their hand. They're probably stuff to set up more Sylveons. Sylveon is weak to metal, but we'll just have to see if that's going to make a big difference in this matchup. They might just be able to get too far ahead and control what we're doing in order for us to be able to take it. So, okay, another rare candy. That does not help. So we'll go Matang here. We'll go, yes, Metal Energy, and then we'll pass turn. So, this is a very bad start for us. Very bad hand. And, uh, but this does happen, you know, from time to time, so... Sometimes we get great hands and we're able to take consecutive wins. Sometimes the deck just wants to kind of poo-poo on us, so we'll just have to wait and see. Our opponent has a ton of cards in hand, so uh, I would guess he'd probably, at this point, would want to put down maybe like another Eevee, Fairy Energy for Energy Evolution, then to Sylveon, perhaps maybe another Dumbbells, or maybe play a Parallel City. Parallel City would really hurt us in this deck, but we do have a Fill Blower. Well, there's the Parallel City. Speaking of the devil, there's a DCE. Okay, so he's going for the aggro approach to two-shot. Okay, so he's going to knock out our Matang. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know why he's saying well played already, but okay. Sure. I guess he thinks he already has the win, so um, it must be nice. I don't know what that feels like. So, okay, heavy ball. So we're going to heavy ball for Metagross. And a rare candy, Metagross, Geotech System, Algorithm, GX. So here, here. Okay. I don't know why my phone's going all slow, real 
all of a sudden, all right, attach there. Okay, we'll go ahead and field blower stadium and the dumbbells away. Then we'll go ahead and geotech system for Metagross, Beldum, Beldum, Metagross. Um, we'll go Dusk Main and then Sycamore. Oh, uh, yeah, Sycamore, I guess, would be the best way to go after that. So, and, or do we want to play in? Yeah, let's go Sycamore. We need to draw cards, so. Alright, and that's going to be our algorithm. We'll see if he disrupts us. Might play an end, so we'll just have to wait and see. <clears throat> what will our opponent do? I don't know if he has a bad connection or what, but mm -hmm. it's going real slow all of a sudden. Okay, here's a Lusamine. Get back two cards, Flare Grunt, Parallel City, okay. Energy Evolution. Okay. Parallel City, it's fine, it's whatever. Oh, I accidentally hit two Matangs instead of two Beldums. I just realized this. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Alright, well, I guess it doesn't matter because of the Parallel City. Alright, Magical Ribbon. Now I kind of wish I'd grabbed it in, but it is what it is. Probably sick of, still, probably still need the Sycamore just because, so. How many energy do we have in our discard pile? Uh, if I can get our discard pile to open, please, thank you. Alright, so we have one. Okay. Well, probably going to Rare Candy. Okay, three cards in his hand. There he goes. So, all right, there's a full picks. So we'll Rare Candy Meta, uh, Metagross onto here. And we'll play down the Necrozma. We'll play down the Choice Band. And then we'll go ahead and Sycamore. Hopefully we can hit Metal Energy off this. That's what I'm hoping for. Alright, there's a Metal Energy. Perfect. So we'll Metal Energy. We'll Geotech System. On to him. I wish we could have another Metagross out, but we don't. It's fine. Alright, we'll go ahead and Giga Hammer. For the Knockout, take two prize cards. Hit for the weakness there. Take these two. Choice band and metal energy. Okay. See what our opponent does with all these cards in his hand. He's got plenty of them to choose from. Okay, here's dumbbells. Okay. Field blower, that's fine. We have another choice band. And that's fine. If he wants to end us down and his hand down, that's fine. It's so whatever. <laughs> wow, what a hand. Couldn't have been more horrible, actually. So, all right. Well, he's gonna magical ribbon. And as of right now, we have nothing to do next turn. 
which really stinks. So maybe our opponent knew that if they end us down. Man, that was horrible. Okay. There's three cards going to his hand. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's literally nothing we can do. They have stalled us this turn. So let's go ahead and retreat into, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's retreat into this guy, Dustmain. We'll geotech twice and we'll pass turn. And that's really all we can do right now. Okay, and then we'll be done. If our opponent really wanted to kind of make us pretty much automatically scoop, they would uh, GX attack us right now and play GX, make us pick both of our Metagrosses back up, or play Delinquent. That's something they could also do. We'll get rid of the Mew. <sighs> when we get Mew, Metagross, and the Choice Band. We'll keep those two cards. I wonder if they're running the Toxic Spray or uh, whatever that stuff is. Just look at our hand to see what supporter we have. Well, now we can play Lele, so that's that's a good... Okay, Hoopa, that's fine. I see you're giving me a hard message. That's cool. Magical Ribbon, it's fine. So I'm going to play Lele. I'm going to end his hand down to low. And if we can find our Solgaleo Prism Star... That'll probably be the one we have to use against the Hoopa. Okay, so Geotech onto him there. Put that there. We'll Lele for the end because his hand is just way too big. And see if we can try to get around that Hoopa. He's keeping that Hoopa around just as the last resort to help keep us from being able to win. But we do have that Silver Layer Prism Star, so hopefully we'll... Okay, and that Heavy Ball might get us there. Um, I can't remember if he's a two retreat cost or not. Let's go ahead and Heavy Ball real quick and see. He is. Okay, let's go ahead and grab him. Let's put him down uh, here. And then we will go ahead and Meteor Tempest for the knockout. Taking two more prizes. Okay, take those two there. Sycamore and Cynthia. There's some of our draw support. <laughs> this is good to know it's somewhere in the deck. <sighs> okay, double puzzle, I'm guessing. Oh no, he's going to look at the top three. That's fine. Our turn. Uh, that's not game. Let's see. We have to Geotech, Geotech. Okay, so let's Geotech. To there. Let's Geotech. To him. Let's attach here we'll retreat into this guy and then we'll should we end him even though he's already puzzled or should we just mm, might have something on top he needs I don't know no he's stuck just go ahead and sick him more I'm not gonna help him out anymore if he has it on top he has it it's whatever so and then we'll Radiant Star. One energy onto him. Boom. We have game next turn if he doesn't place down another Pokemon. Flare Grunt, that's fine. And that should be game, right? So we'll Geotech. So this guy said well played on turn like two or something like that. And now we just came back and took it. So 
there you go. So we'll put that there. We'll tell our opponent well played since he said the same thing to us. And then we'll corrode impact. And that is how you beat Sylveon. This deck is very good against Sylveon. And even though he played the deck pretty well, we still came back. He got real cocky at the beginning, thought he was going to win it, said well played, and now we just well played him right back. All right. Should, should never lose that matchup, but it can happen sometimes. Depends on the draws. And at that point, we were just able to get it done. So, all right, we'll play one more game with the deck, and then after that, we will... Um, Go over the deck again and then if y'all uh want to just please leave us any like uh you know press the like button comment uh subscribe don't forget to do that don't forget to check out our facebook channel um all that good junk so let's go into our third game here and see what we will be playing against burps. excuse me burps had the heavy burps all right so you got grass dark and psychic Very interesting, very interesting. I don't know what the deck is off the top of my head. I lost the coin flip. It's fine. Um, Grass, Psychic, Dark. Maybe Zoroark something or another? Oh, maybe Zoroark Galissapod? Uh, yeah, it probably is Zoroark Galissapod, actually, now that I think about it. I don't think it could be anything else. Not our ideal turn one, but it's okay. We can lay lay for Bridget and then have a Sycamore the following turn. Yeah, there's Wimpod, so it's probably Zoroark Melissapod. More than likely, that's what I'm thinking it is. Okay, there's a Zoroark. There's a turn one Bridget, probably to go get another Zorua, a Wimpod, and a Coco promo. They will probably Wimp out, retreat into the Coco promo, and pass turn to the next turn. They'll just start going bonkers. So, oh, they're going to Cynthia. Okay. I was not expecting a Cynthia on turn one, unless they have Bridget in hand. And they just wanted to go ahead and grab it. Okay, Cynthia. Well, maybe they'll get their basics here off the Cynthia, I don't know. Let's see. Wimps out into the Lele, attaches DCE to Lele, and pass. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and Lele. Yes. Um, Bridget. Go get that Bridget. This is going to be a slower setup, so hopefully our opponent doesn't just go crazy because it's going to take us a while. How many Metagross do we have? We have three Metagross. They're probably just going to go get three Beldums, I would imagine. Right now, I think that's all we can do. And then after that, I think that's it. We're going to have to pass, unfortunately. Okay. This list does not run float stones. Um, so we're going to have to figure out how to get our Solgaleo. Okay, he's going to end. We didn't have a great hand anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> this hand's actually much better. Is he playing double puzzle or is he just doing one? Okay, so he's playing one puzzle, so that's pretty good. Um, energy dry for 40, that's fine. I think we're going to, let's see, what we get here. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's go Rare Candy, Beldum, the Metagross. And then let's do Energy. Play Guzma. Let's Guzma up the Wimp Pod so it can't do any shenanigans there. So we need to go get Rare Candy, Rare Candy, Metagross. Let's see. Metagross, because we already have Metagross there. Two Rare Candies. Rare Candy, Rare Candy. Sycamore Energy, maybe, just so we can get more energy in the discard. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, let's go, get, let's go grab that. Let's go grab that. See if our opponent disrupts our hand again. See if they want to play an in. Okay, so they top deck into the Zoroark, so now they can start trading. I'm really not too much worried about the uh, Zoroark. I didn't want them to get an attack on us first turn. I wanted to make them physically have to retreat that Galissapod. 
<clears throat> that's why you chose the or the wind pod. That's why we got the wind pod up here. So he trades away the Kakui, DCE, Choice Man, Retreat, and okay, that's fine. I guess he's gonna have everything that turn. So he will end our hand back down to six. Okay, so we have Heavy Ball for another Metagross for Rare Candy. Um, don't have another energy, unfortunately. We don't have a draw supporter. So this could be an issue. And he passes. Okay. Um, will Heavy Ball for Metagross, Rare Candy, the Metagross onto the Beldum. will attach there and then we'll um he's stuck for right now so we'll just go ahead and i guess uh click done and see what our opponent does need to draw into a draw supporter or another energy so we can start attacking or something another metagross but that wouldn't really help at this point Okay, there's another, there's a stand-in Zoroark, 369, so he's doing 130 right now with the stand-in. He's down two DCEs, his bench. He discards a field blower. Grass Energy. Could be doing the Wind Pod into Galissa Pod. Okay, there's the Ultra Ball. Probably going to go get the Galissa Pod, and he might have a way to retreat in first impression. That's for 120. Okay, discards a choice man and a Zoroark. <clears throat> I'm guessing to either go get a Glissopod or maybe a Lele to go grab another supporter. In two games in a row, our hand's kind of been really slow, which is unfortunate. There's a Glissopod, that's fine. That's what I figured he was going to get. He's going to evolve it onto the bench. Guzma. Up the okay, that's fine. Um, 120. Let's see what do we have here. Um, still does nothing for us. I mean, I guess we could rare candy into another Metagross. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. There's Metagross here, it's fine. Uh, rare candy, Metagross. Um, Max Potion, the active. Maybe Guzma up the Wind Pod, and try to get it stuck. Put up this Metagross Geotech system. And now we're pretty much stuck again, so we're just trying to survive at this point. We'll, we'll click done. We'll press done. And see what our opponent does. Not really in a good spot right now as he's able to trade with the Zoroark. Still might be able to draw into something. He has the float stone. He's going to stand in retreat, so it's not like it's going to matter now, apparently. He's going to first impression again for 120. I need to top deck into something here. That would be great if we could. All right, first impression for 120, that's fine. Top deck into stretcher. That will not get it done. So now we just have to pass. We, there's nothing. We have three Metagross set up, but we're literally nothing we can do. 
if he has a DCE or a way to do it for the 100, okay, yeah. So he can just stand in and continue to first impression. That's going to knock it out. Okay, so he's actually going to go with the right as beating. That's fine. <sighs> wow. Okay. Well, this does not look good for us. At all. On to our turn. Ultra Ball. That... Uh, hope our other Lele's in here. That's all I can think. And we can't, I'd like to treasure that back, but I don't think we're going to be able to because we got an Ultra Ball something. So get rid of both of those and go get our other Lele. Go get a draw supporter. That's all I know to do. So Lele, yes. Going to go grab, um, how many cards are I putting? I have four. That's fine. We'll go grab a second more. Okay, well, Sycamore. Finally draw the new hand here. Um, okay, it's not the best. We'll attach an energy geotech system onto him. Actually do some damage. Geotech system. Please select energy. Okay, there we go. There. And then we will Giga Hammer for 150. And this would probably be the turn where my opponent just Acer Rollers or gets all the damage off the board somehow. If they had it. We'll see if that's a card he plays. Check his discard. Okay, it's fine. Malo, okay. Yeah, it'll get him whatever cards he needs and he'll be able to trade for him. So we're just going to trade, pitch a card to draw the two on top, see what he gets. <clears throat> Grass Energy, Galissapod, that's fine. Stand in. Okay. One twenty, okay. Uh, let's see. Thinking about just using. Let's see, I have three energies there. Have any in our discard? No. Um. I think this is the point where we, if he only has four cards in hand, um, if we lose that, we lose the other Metagross. We don't have the ability to put that back. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and bridge it to put down a Beldum. It's because we need it that badly. I'm going to retreat into the Solgaleo Prism Star. If he has Guzma, that's fine. I mean, there's not much we can do at this point. He just happens to have all the cards he needs. So we're going to put that there, and then we're going to go ahead and Radiant Star these two energy. We'll put them onto the Fresh Metagross. And force him to knock out the Solgaleo Prism if he can. How many Max Potions have we played? One Max Potion, so we got two more in there, hopefully, unless one's in our prizes. Forgot to look at the deck earlier to see if it was in there, so. Let's see. Puzzle. Gives him a choice band, sure. I guess it's just gonna have it. Here goes the choice band. Guzma is gonna first impression our Metagross, knock it out. That's fine. I expect stuff like this to happen, so our opponent's just able to get the cards he needs in his low hand size, so there goes that. Metagross taking two prizes. Probably gonna go ahead and end him this turn. Well rare candy into the Metagross, Geotech system, and then end, so 
All right, we'll do that there. This here. Um, oh, we don't have any metal energy in our discard, do we? All right, well, let's hope we draw into one. Yeah, let's go. Should we put the Mew down or leave that open for... Well, let's just leave it open. Hopefully we can draw into an energy. Oh, we do. Energy and choice band. Okay. Um, let's actually go ahead and Ultra Ball away both the energy and go search for a Dust Main. Okay. Actually, we could have... <laughs> I messed up there. Could have Ultra Balled away the Ultra Ball and the energy. Had an energy attachment for a turn in Sons of... No, we couldn't have Sons of Eclipse because we... Algorithm. Wow, I'm really stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and Geotech System. Onto there. Let's go ahead and play a Choice Band so we can do tons of damage. And then we'll go ahead and Giga Hammer for 180. He only needs two more prize cards, so... Let's see what our opponent decides to do. Field Blower, that's fine. If he's that scared of the Choice Band. I still have another one somewhere in deck. So, trade. Still has plenty of cards in deck to go through. He can stand in, first impression. Guzma. It has every Guzma that he needs. It's interesting. One energy in this card. Alright, takes that. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy up here. And we'll go ahead and play Cynthia. We'd love to end our opponent down, but we'll just go ahead and Cynthia for right now. None of that really helps us. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let's field blower the float stone on the Zoroark and the choice band um, on him. That's fine, we'll get rid of those two. Then we'll put the we'll put that there and then we'll giga hammer. Doing tons of damage everywhere, but not actually taking knockouts. <laughs> so, that's kind of what the, that's the story of the game so far. We'll see what our opponent decides to do. He's going to trade. Okay, that's fine. Two, three, energy there. Then how many do we have in our discard? Two, five. So we have five more energy left somewhere in our deck. Might be looking for a float stone or a DCE. The Cynthia. It's going to get six cards. Stand in. So he has to have the float stone, right? Either that or he's going to attack with him. Or maybe he's just trying to keep us from getting any knockouts on any of our any of his peeps. So you have to play with two Metagross for the rest of the game, which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll Ultra Ball away. Both Matangs. We'll grab the Necrozma here. Okay, that's fine. Um, just to thin out our deck a little bit. 
I guess we'll just put up the Mew and the Energy Drive. But he don't know. He only needs one more prize, so we don't want to do that. Um, that is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and put up... Who do we want to put up? Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and put up this guy. And we'll geotech system twice onto him. Wish we could have found an energy, but been having trouble finding the cards we need to this game. And after that, we'll just pass. There's really nothing else we can do. Our opponent should have this if they play smart. So is he getting his other set of double puzzles? Or no, he can only play the one puzzle because he played it earlier in the game or forgot. Rearrange the top three. Now he can trade into whatever he needs. Discards the Bridget. Field blower. Okay, that's fine. Glissopod. So this is like the big weakness of the deck is if you don't have three Metagross on the bench, whether you're not able to use their ability or if they take knockouts on them early, it's really hard for this deck. Even when Sogaleo Prism Star gets knocked out, you saw that he had brought it up and knocked it out, so now it makes it pretty much near impossible for us to win the game. It's very slow and uh, very unfortunate, but that's kind of just how the deck is. So, um, we'll Geotech System. Okay, onto the active. We'll Geotech System onto the active. We'll take one prize card and then he'll be able to bring up anybody he wants to and pretty much um yeah i really don't know how we win this one two three he'll bring up somebody pop us and then he'll pop us in return if we knock him out so all right there's an the energy there's lele Now we're on uneven prizes. That hurts us even more. Ultra Ball for Lele. I don't know what he's going to go get. Maybe a Cynthia. Maybe a Sycamore. Guzma. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, that's game. Crossing Cut GX, yep. So he had everything he needed there. Alright, so that was game three. And uh, deck just, as you can see, that's the main weakness of the deck. Just super slow sometimes, really hard to set up. When you do have a set up with three Metagross, the deck is really hard to, um, hard to lose with. Uh, it's very resilient, but as y'all saw, um, the deck just has trouble sometimes if it... If you're not able to set up and your opponent knows kind of what they need to do in order to um, kind of ruin your plans, then that's that's how the deck loses. And also, Zoroark Galissapod is like one of the best decks in format. So, I mean, let's not be too shocked that, you know, it still took that. But So, as you can see, the deck uh, can be beaten um, if your opponent kind of knows what they're doing and uh, can kind of play around certain things. So, that is uh, Metagross Decimate Necrozma. The deck is really good. I don't think... Metagross Necrozma is the best combination of cards. My personal deck I've worked on is uh, Dustmane um, Necrozma with Magnazone uh, for the met that gives you the metal multiple metal attachments in the turn. So, um, but uh, I'll be featuring that deck a little bit later on. But again, this is um, Dustmane Necrozma Metagross. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a like, leave a comment if you want to. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook page at Team Pancakes TCG. And uh, again, this is Matt, and I will see y'all later.